What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John Place here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lynx Awakening limited edition that was not in the United States. Oh f so let me talk to you guys. Here in the United States for Link's Awakening, we did not get the option of getting the Steelbook and that whole thing. Instead, we only got the Dreamer Edition. And the Dreamer Edition came with an art book and the game, that was it. As opposed to Europe and Australia, which also got their hands on a really nice art book and a Steelbook. And it was 75 quid. And I reached out to everyone on Twitter and I said, hey guys, does anyone live in Europe or Australia and willing to buy it and send it to me? And someone did. Shout out to you, Michael Dog 122 Thank you so much for helping me out from, from down on Dave. I've been a little MIA, have a, a, a lot of life things happening and I'm working on that. I also upgraded camera too from being the uh, POS video camera that it was to the same camera that I'm using for my main camera. Isn't that right main camera? You know it's right. Great. And Mike, uh, he drew a kitty cat. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Anytime I do one of these videos, I mean, it's not the newest product out there, but like with the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Nintendo Switch bundle, I feel like my core audience definitely watches these videos and it's kind of a way for me to do a little, little update on what's going on in my life with you guys. Well, first of all, uh, I'm in the process of really, really trying to lose weight because Oh boy, I get winded going upstairs, and that's a problem. Now, I don't know what was actual wrapping from EB Games, and I don't know what Mike did, uh, but we have it here in tissue paper. You can kind of see through it a little bit. Not too much, though. And here we go. Link's Awakening, limited edition, mild fantasy violence, rated PG. I didn't know that Australia uses parental guidance. So this is gonna be coming with the game, the steelbook and the art book, which, fantastic. If we look at the artwork on here, there's like some really nice detailed work everywhere. And also the front is glossy as opposed to here, which is sort of a, um, oh, hang on. So this is a glossy finish. This is silk print. And this is a spot UV print, which is really, really nice work. And also, this is like a heavy silk. For anyone in the printing industry, that's like that velvet silk. Software made in Japan, art book made in Germany, steel book made in China. We open it up from the side and we can see the books. Wow, couldn't do that again if I tried. What's very interesting is you will notice that there is no rating on this. Normally it would say PG or Peggy rating or the ESRB rating, but there's no rating on the front, which is unique. Goes to show that it should not be sold separately. And this is the same exact cover art as the United States release, which is interesting. Uh, there's a piece of cardboard. Here is the steel book that looks like a giant Game Boy. Let's cut the lights for the reflection. Here we go. Beautiful Game Boy design. It is indented where the A and B are, as well as the D-pad that shows up on camera a little bit. And then there's a little crevice in between the screen and the body, which is really nice. To the back, the entire area where the battery cover is, uh, along the middle area is ribbed, but not on the outside, which is unique. Oh wow, the screw holes have indents in them. That's pretty awesome. And then the area where the actual Game Boy game is, is... It's a glossy finish, so it feels differently than the rest of the Steelbook. And this is so much attention to detail. This is more attention to detail than I've seen on any Steelbook ever. And while yes, the Steelbook is the exact same size as a Nintendo Switch case, in comparison to an original Game Boy, it's actually not too far off, which is nice. Just happen to be by chance. And inside, I'm assuming that there's gonna be nothing there's nothing, oh! The inside art is all images of the original Link's Awakening on the Game Boy, not even Link's Awakening DX. So here you can see all of the screenshots in here and ah, uh, that's beautiful attention to detail. And inside of here we just have the one game.
Nice. I like steelbooks and limited editions that give you the original case and the steelbook case. I think that's really awesome. Let's take a look at the art book. The opening page treats us to the hand-drawn art of Link, the opening cutscene of him washing up on Koholint, and it says one, and we have the full moon cello. Oh, and we get images of Link from Link's original design, and then how they took his original design and made it into the cartoon painting Link. And also, the various alternatives that they were working with, with more detail. We get some beautiful sketches of Maid Village and the various buildings inside of it. It seemed like what they did is they drew full artwork for all the characters, and then they dumbed them down into the pretty cartoonish and then dumbed it down more and more and more. For example, here's Taryn and Marin, which you'll see they go from sort of full figures, really flushed out, also, Taryn kind of looks like uh, the kid from Up, and then they dumb them down and cartoonize them more, and then they fit them in with the style. We could see that the witch was supposed to be a lot more detailed, and then got drawn into the same cartoon style. It's really weird to see them basically start with very detailed drawings, and then go from the detailed drawings to a much more basic cartoony design. Which goes to show that they didn't settle on the art style immediately, instead, it was like a work in progress until they finally like wrapped up on who they wanted. Like here's Madame Meow Meow and she looks like something straight out of Beauty and the Beast. Every level gives us artwork of the boss fights and high res of the instruments, the vires, the little devils. Oh, it's really awesome to see mock-ups of the instruments of the sirens and then them being brought into their in-game designs. Now I know that here in America there was an option for you to I think from like a third party retailer, buy Link's Awakening and the Steelbook, but not the art book, and definitely not the original box. Like, this is a really quality box. I did not expect it to be this nice. Oh, the rating is actually printed on here. That will never come off. Yay. All right, well guys, I just want to give you this update and show you what uh, we here in the States didn't get anything cool with. Also, for Pokemon Sword and Shield, we're not getting uh, Steelbooks, but Europe is, and I already have someone set up for that. Shout out to you, Louis G. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I'm wrapping this up. Do me a favor, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.